Welcome to Hap Explorer. My name is Motoshi Kosako, harpist, composer, improviser. I would like to share an interesting cutting edge frontier of modern harp playing on this video series. Today, I would like to play a George Gashwin Summertime. This is very well known uh, jazz standard tune, and also this music is very uh, lyrical. So when we play a tune like this, uh, it's better to stay kind of being lyrical while we are doing improvisation. So I would like to talk about uh, how to play a lyrical improvisation. For me, being lyrical means you keep providing a melody as a kind of extension of the theme or even if you create uh, some new melody on improvisation, stay within the range of something like a, you can sing. So for me, playing lyrical improvisation is uh, I have to sing first inside of my head. Secondly, um, often I try to use the repetitive patterns. For example, the beginning of the tune goes like this. So, and then try to improvise on this chord progression. Uh, I try to kind of make some patterns and then you, I, I use repetitively. For example, uh, if I do something like that. So, ti da ti ti. I try to uh, use this motif a uh, few times until the listeners start kind of associating uh, with these uh, repetitive patterns. Or something like that. On a wind instrument, when you, you want to emphasize some note, actually, you can hold one note and all the chord progression moving around it. And it, it's, it's really cool. But on harp, you cannot do it. So instead of uh, playing the same note over and over, I, like a... This is one way of doing that. But actually, as you know, it's hard to play the same note over and over on a harp. So often I replace with the uh, trill. So for example, I... And you can get kind of similar effect uh, to the holding note on a wind instrument. So another tip is making phrase with a, the notes of different values. So for example, if you play always the eighth notes, it's okay, but it's kind of a little boring, or it's not really emotional in a way. So. Uh, the kind of similar phrase if you mix our eighth note with a sixteen notes triplet and something like that, and also if you put the rest uh, going like this. And also not just our different values, also uh, change the dynamics. Um, so some of the notes comes out more than other notes and the other notes actually almost bury hearing or something like that. And a combination of these uh, different values and the dynamics uh, makes your phrasing really uh, lyrical. Also, uh, when we are improvising, sometimes we just want to play scale from one note to another note. 
So like uh This is okay, it's nice. But actually same idea, okay, uh, we can start from E and then finish on B and you can kind of change how to get there from E. So what I'm talking about is instead of just straight up on the scale, we can do something like this, for example. result is moving from E to B but actually the way you go so in a way like a point A to point B you know those two points but the, the way to get from point A to point, point B can be many different ways so and if you kind of play around this idea uh, every time you just move from point A to point B, you can make a numerous different variations. Uh, so it's, yeah, you can combine different patterns here. So the idea is just playing from E to B, but just it sounds like doing something really special because I changed the way of moving from point A to point B. So so the combination of these different ideas, uh, you can make your improvisation more lyrical and interesting. My pronunciation of lyrical is not really good because L and the R close to each other is really hard for us Japanese to pronounce. So lyrical improvisation. So I hope you enjoy uh, my performance of uh, Summertime by George Gashwin.